you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new content. We got the heavyweights. So, so far, heavyweight and flashbacks have been a bit underwhelming. The first heavyweight drop was pretty good. But as the game progresses, it's been kind of confusing as they drop low overalls. I know what people are going to say, right? Low overalls are good because they're better for no money spent teams, right? But the thing about no low overalls, they don't have that good of stats. Like, there's better 86s you can get than the heavyweights are dropping. There is one heavyweight that I did see in Mutt Leaks today that looks pretty promising, so I'm pretty excited for that. He could be a starter on the team. His power-up card's been going up a lot, and that guy's looking like Rodney Hudson. Rodney Hudson should be an 87 overall center if they dropped it. That's what they dropped the overall of, which I'm pretty excited for because I need a new center on the team. I know a lot of people probably do. Not everyone could afford Matt Burke, so I have some tips for how to get that Rodney Hudson pretty cheap. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop go down below. Drop the sub. We're grinding to 10K. We're so close to 7. Let's push us to 7K by like tomorrow or the next day, and then on to 8, and then 9, and then 10. If you're new to the channel also, turn on the Noti Bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Noti Gang's at 1.4K. Let's keep getting it going. Let's get it all the way to 2K by the end of this month. Also, guys, comment down below what you think of heavyweights and flashbacks so far. I want to say they're underwhelming, but it is the first two weeks of the game. I mean, I can't expect much from that because obviously they want to progressively build it up, you know. They don't want to just drop all the heat at once. Kind of better that way so the game doesn't die earlier than it usually does. And also, guys, anyways, let's get 150 likes in this video. I know it's a content video, so that's not exactly the most entertaining, but it is an important video on this channel, and it's one that we do every day. So, guys, let's go on over to the store. The heavyweight should be out already. Let's go check. The, let's go see packs and see if the price changed on them. There is a bundle. I don't know if this is new, but there's a game changer bundle. I wonder if that was just dropped. 23 hours. I don't really know. Let's see. So we got heavyweights right here for 1,780. So the packs looks the same. 86 plus. So I'm assuming that pack will be better when they start dropping 88. Because obviously when they start dropping 88, you could probably get better value out of them. Because you could potentially pull an 88. But when they drop 88, they might also raise the price of the pack. So it also depends. So could be a good reroll pack if they do drop it. And they don't change the price. But if they do change the price, it'll probably stay the same. Let's go to heavyweights. Let's go to newest. Let's see what we got. So, so far, it does not look like anyone has gotten them yet. I'm going to filter by team. Because it does look like there is a Rodney Hudson that should be out. He is not out yet. So, let me give you my tip on how to get him. So, guys, if you want this new Rodney Hudson, which I definitely do because I only have Jason Kelsey, I recommend power passes. So, you go to the auction block and you go check out his base elite. Let me show you what he's going for. Let's see, Raiders. Come on, auction block. Let's go. Got a video to show them. Center. This should be just enough. Okay, so we got the Rodney Hudson power up, which goes for 13K. I wouldn't buy it for 13K. There's obviously hype surrounding this Rodney Hudson right now because people obviously want to get him right away. But guys, this power up is just going for 20K. He's now coming down to 13K. I'd wait till tomorrow or the next day. Like any power up, the hype brings him up, and then in a few days, they're back down to 4K. So I'd wait a day or two, buy him for 4K. Now it's basically, it is going for 45K, which is a little more expensive than it should be going for. But if you guys have the power pass 84 to 85 or whatever it is, I'd recommend you use it on that. There should be a power pass for him, right? 84 overalls. I'd recommend you use it on him. I, I plan to buy this thing for like 3K plus this power pass plus like maybe 10K worth of trading. You could probably have an 87 overall center and you got to buy the heavyweight. So if you buy the heavyweight card, which should be about... I'm imagining 87 overall center heavyweight should probably go for about 100k. If you get him for 100k plus the power up card in the training and the power pass, you'll probably get an 88 overall center, all powered up and everything for a little under 120k, 130k, which is not bad at all. That's a really good price for one of the best centers in the game. Which, if we look at his stats, I believe he's more of a run blocking center. Oh, he's a pass blocking center. Wow. Okay. So his 88 overall should be able to run block pretty decently while being able to be a elite pass blocker with a new card. So let's go see if they're up now. It's been about five minutes since everything has dropped and also the next one i think is cameron hayward hope i said his name right cameron hayward i'm pretty sure he's the end for the steelers so hopefully they're up now so let's refresh the auction house go back in go to program and let's go check out these stats hopefully they're out already yeah has been a little the content's been a little hard to post because ea is always behind on these for some reason rodney hudson there we go he's up and case cameron hayward i'll start with hayward 86 overall right end he got 67 speed, really slow, really slow. 75 excel, not too good. 88 strength, which is good. 84 tackle, which is good. 90 play rec, 83 block shot, 85 power move. This card's actually pretty good. He's not too bad. What I recommend him on my team, no. Are there better right ends? Yeah, I'd probably just go get the Deacon Jones from NFL Epics for free. 
So I wouldn't really recommend Cameron Hayward. Let's see what his hit power is or any other underlying stats. Awareness is 90, which isn't bad. Don't know how much that affects things. His jumping, 60. Impact blocking is 82. Let's see, pursuit to 79. Let's just hit power. 83. Okay, so this card isn't horrible. A little expensive for an 86, but obviously he just got posted. He's going to come down. Now, Rodney Hudson. This is the card I'm mainly concerned about. 85 strength, 82 awareness, 87 pass block, 88 pass block, 83 pass block finesse. His run blocking is really bad. Okay. So this all this changes my strategy now. As compared to Jason Kelsey. Kelsey's a way better run blocker and a pretty adequate pass blocker. I mean, I don't really know. I don't really get destroyed up the middle because when you're playing with centers, typically centers don't get pass rush that bad by defensive tackles. So like it's typically off the edge that I'm more concerned about. So Roddy Hudson might be a fade. I don't know. Like if you guys do want him, I kind of do want an 88 overall center, which wouldn't be too hard to get, but I don't know, because for right now, the meta is kind of running the ball. And typically, like I said, centers are more of like run blockers to me. Like, I feel like centers are either run blockers up the middle on zones or pulling, pulling on pitches or something. Like there's so many other things that I could see a center doing, but I don't really see him doing anything else. I mean, by the way, pulling is it's kind of rare if you want to play where you can pull. But the point is here is that I really don't see it where a center could need a pass block more than run blocking because I don't really get too much pressure up the middle. So Rodney Hudson might be a fade. Let's see what his other underlying stats are. Speed's kind of slow, but he has a center, so I don't really care about that. 82 awareness. What's the awareness on Kelsey? 87, okay. I'm pretty sure awareness is important for center. Keep going down. Impact blocking, 73, 83 again. Don't know how much they really pull. Lead block. Guys, don't kill me if I'm wrong about that, by the way. 85, 84. Okay, so they're very similar. It's just kind of like, do you want pass or run? And Jason Kelsey's a lot cheaper. I don't know. It might, if, if you pass a lot, like you only really pass, Rodney Hudson's the guy. Get his power up. Power pass and then Rodney Hudson 88 overall. But if you're a runner like me, I think Kelsey might be the move personally at center. Let's see what these prices are going for though. Let's keep refreshing. Okay, let's go to buy now price. Go to 80. Let's go to the 87, 86. Let's see what Cameron Hayward's going for. So 86, 87. Let's see. Cameron Hayward is approximately 100K. He should come down near this air range right here. Probably like 85K. Not a bad left end. Again, would rather have the newer, um, I mean, not the newer, the NFL Epics, Deacon Jones. Now, Oh, the filters by 87 too. Rodney Hudson's 140. It's filtered by Raiders to see. If Rodney Hudson can fall down to about maybe, I'd say about 110, he's probably a pretty good buy right there. Because typically the 87s go for about 100K. So like brand new, 110's really not that bad. I don't know, guys. This content's a little underwhelming. Heavyweight's a little underwhelming. I mean, I think they should have dropped an 88 heavyweight today. Maybe next week, I guess. But like with there already being plenty of 90, 91s, a 93 Kurt Warner, 89s. I feel like heavyweight should at least be closer to the TF cards we're using. You guys understand? Like, I understand that not everyone can afford them, but with the way Madden is at right now, I feel like there's 91s already. There's powered up 92s. There should probably be at least an 88 heavyweight that you could power up to an 89. Because if they keep dropping 86, 87s, these cards aren't really that usable because there's better options, first off. Deacon Jones and Kelsey. And then third, in the next week or so, there's going to be even more 88s. There's going to be Mud Hero soon. There's going to be new promos new flashbacks they got a base not elite yesterday like there's plenty of cards that are already like better in my opinion so what i recommend picking either of these cards up not entirely but like i said if you're a heavy passer like you bring you don't really run the ball i'd 100 percent recommend you go power up that rodney hudson with power up heavy weight and training and power pass but if you're not a big passer you're a run first guy i'd probably still stick with kelsey or even matt burke let's go see what matt burke's looking like real quick just so you guys can have an idea of the comparison to rodney hudson Let's see, center, 88 89. I'll go center. If Matt Burke blows him away, I probably can't really recommend Hudson as a pass blocking center. I think Matt Burke could do both. Matt Burke can run and pass block. So if you need both, Matt Burke's the move. But again, like I don't see pass blocking as that much of importance right now, right now, with how defensive tackles are. Unless you're going up against like John Randalls and like super chemmed up Fletcher Cox. I don't really see the use of it. But guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the content video. Just the heavyweights. They won't be opening many packs. So I think heavyweight packs are kind of a loss right now. Like, even if you pull the best thing, you only gain, like, 100 training. If you pull the worst thing, you lose training. So, even if you pulled five straight 87s, right, and you struck gold, you're still only gaining, like, 500 training. And that's with the risk of you could just lose training. And training's too valuable right now. It's a risk, in my opinion. If they do drop 88s into the pack, and they do put keep the pack price the same, it could be a potential reroll. You pull 87s or 88s with only losing with 86s. That's not that bad. But, again, until that happens, I can't really recommend them, guys. But... Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Drop a sub for your boy. Let's keep grinding out to 10K. Make sure to turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. You guys don't want to miss 
time sensitive stuff like daily content, market talks, coin tips, gameplays, a lot of stuff that are right in the spot that are pretty cool. House rules tips. I do have a few more videos coming out for you guys today, so if you haven't already, go check those out after this video. Obviously, they might not even be up yet, but you'll, you'll see them eventually today. Noody Bell, get that on. And that's about it. Let's get this video to 150 likes, boys, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.